and there it were right there. The silence is what makes it what we call mime. Hands, face, and body telling stories, creating environments. I was just miming a phone call and the camera was rolling and here you are. <laughs> At 87 years old, I am the world's oldest mime. Went to Paris in 1946, played around with Marcel Marceau, and I began to get television work. I was on TV commercials, many talk shows. It was such a novelty, I got a lot of jobs. But now, uh, Nobody's interested in mime. They think of mime as a pest on the street, making a wall and asking for money. I'll tell you the story of how I got my very first laugh. I was about nine or 10. I was in a school play. I'm in the wings. And I'm about to go on to say my line and they saw a vase of daffodils. Put my nose into the yellow flower and made an entrance. I got a laugh. I took it away from my nose, said my line, put my nose back into it. Took my nose out, said my last line, And I got a big laugh and some applause. That's what ruined my life. You got to be careful. You get responses like that, you're going to have a laugh on your back. You get addicted to it. Every woman who's been significant in my life, I met in a public place. Two of my wives on subway platforms, one on a path towards a theater, one in a coffee shop, one in an elevator. The mime mating dance. It's totally mime. It's totally communication emotionally and physically without speaking. One minute romances with a stranger, a passing moment in a subway. We catch each other's eye and there's a gesture something physical that goes on between the two of us. It's like a quick love affair. To get a smile and that look, it's a similar feeling to getting applause. Very old people like me often nod to each other on the street. I didn't know that till I got old. There's a silent communication. Hey, look at us, we got here this far. Good luck. <laughs> I'm enjoying and taking in the spectacle that's around me all the time on the street. People with different costumes, with different walks, with different attitudes. The theater of the street. A lot of communication can happen in silence, but you have to listen. <laughs> 